peace be still. Mark chapter 4 verse 29. Safely Assured by Patricia Raybon In Papua New Guinea, the Kandas tribe awaited with excitement the arrival of the New Testament Bibles printed in their language. To reach the village, however, the people bringing the books had to travel on the ocean on a small boat. What gave them courage to travel across the great waters? Their separate skills, yes, but they also knew who created the seas. He's the one who guides each of us across life's turning waves in deepest water. As David wrote, where I can go from your spirit, Psalms 139, verse 7. If I go up heavens, you are there. If I sit up on the far side of the sea, even there your hands will guide me, your right hands will hold me fast. This word would resonate deeply with the Kandas, who live on an island nation whose tropical coast, dense rainforest, and rugged mountains have been called the last unknown. Yet, as believers there and everywhere know, no place or problem is too remote for God. Even the darkness will not be dark to you, says Psalms 139 verse 12. And the night will shine like the day, for darkness is a light to you. On stormy waters, therefore our God speaks, peace be still. And the waves and the wind obey, Mark chapter 4 verse 29. So, don't fear like dips or turbulent waters today. Our God safely leads us ashore. Let us now reflect in three. What tempts you not to trust God? What do you need to trust Him with today? Offer your dear Heavenly Father, your own slight winds and waves, and I thank you for guiding me safely to shore. Amen. The blessed beyond.